Now, South Africa says it will allow a sanctioned Russian oligarch to dock his super yacht in Cape Town. The $521 million vessel, which belongs to Alexei Mordashov, an ally of Russian leader Vladimir Putin, left Hong Kong earlier this week. Well, I'm joined now by our correspondent, Pumza uh, Filani. Uh, just, uh, Pumza, if you could tell us a little bit more about this story. Right, Yelda. So this is a story that's causing some sort of controversy here in South Africa. And one of the reasons for that is that this businessman who is whose vessel is en route to South Africa was recently sanctioned by the US and the EU because of that close relationship that he enjoys with President Vladimir Putin. The US at the time said this decision was around frustrating the efforts of Russia's elites in their supposed support of President um, Vladimir Putin. At, at the time when he was reacting to this, Mr. Modashov said that he felt that the he didn't understand why he was being targeted and that he'd had no influence over the Kremlin and had stayed completely out of Russian politics. Now, enter South Africa. South Africa, eh, from day one, from when the war broke out between Russia and Ukraine, have maintained their stance that this is an issue they believe should be handled through a mediated effort. They have said that their stance is non-aligned. They are not choosing either Russia or Ukraine and said, in fact, that the office of the UN Secretary General should be at the forefront of trying to resolve this conflict. And it's along those lines that they are also here choosing to stay out of the politics, as it were, saying to me earlier when I spoke to them that they are seeing Mr. Uh, Modashov is a businessman like no, like any other who travels to South Africa on business interests. Uh, Pumza, we're just looking at the, the image of, of that uh, yacht there. Uh, is the South African government feeling, feeling the pressure uh, given, given the sanctions at the moment and, and the international reaction uh, to what's going on in Ukraine? Look, if they are Yelda, they're certainly not showing it up front. When I spoke to the presidency spokesperson, Mr. Vincent Maguena, he says that a lot of the reaction that has come out so far against Russia has been from the West, that they, South Africa, see themselves as an independent and sovereign state and will follow whatever laws are placed but they will not be intimidated into taking a stance. They're saying that they are not refusing to participate with any processes that are put in place, but what they will do is once there are UN sanctions against anyone and that person travels to South Africa, that is when they are duty bound to act. Until that happens, they say individual countries are free to make whatever decisions they want. Trade blocks are free to make whatever decisions they want, and they're refusing to be drawn as a pawn, as it were, in this conflict between Russia, Ukraine, and the stance that the West has taken in support of and Russia. And just very briefly, Pumza, do we know the location of, of the yacht right now? I know I said it uh, set off from Hong Kong about a week ago. It is expected to arrive in South Africa around the 9th of November. We currently aren't sure of its exact whereabouts. The authorities have told me when I asked them of this that they're not keeping a super close eye on it, again, because they've got no incentive or reason to.